Hello. There's something that's been bugging me for a couple days, and I'm like, I think I need to bring it to YouTube land, right? Um, if I put it on Facebook now, it'll be way too messy. But let's just do a YouTube video and have like 22 subscribers. <laughs> so maybe one of you who subscribes to the channel will give me some advice or something, or just give me a cyber hug or something. Anyway, here's the here's the spiel on um, the story. I moved to Greensboro, North Carolina about five months ago now, and it's been great. Um, and what happened was I got involved with the local Republican Party, and I um, I met a lady um, who I became interested in. You know, hey, we have the same political beliefs. We have, you know, we're both. Um, Christians um, we both and then I saw her you know go to this I mean she likes to go to a lot of the candidate forums a lot of the panel discussions uh, Republic speaker series and everything and um, she was actually running for an elected position too unfortunately she did not win but still I was like um, you know I'm interested in this in this lady and I like to ask her out on a date and you know and I was trying to plant some seeds along the way like trying to like say hey you're doing a good job with your campaign or hey I liked what you said at that meeting and your debate performance was great just trying to encourage her and also you know show that I'm a really good gentleman too um, but also butter her up so when I ask her on a date she'll say yes to and um and also even though she lost the day after the election i sent her a message on facebook and told her you know hey her i know probably her she lost but you know you get definitely got what it takes and everything and i'm like hey you know um just really trying to be very friendly with her and i knew right around I probably started having feelings for her probably right around September. The whole month of September, I was like the bait trash ground now, or should I wait till after the election? Because she probably has a lot on her plate because she works full time too, as well as running for office. So by October, I made the decision that, okay, I'm going to ask her out, but I have to do it after the election. And so I spent the next month or six weeks rehearsing in my head how, uh, how I was going to ask her out. <clears throat> so after the election i did not think that i was gonna see her again until january but um there was a political meeting that had happened and it had been scheduled like just a couple days before but my work schedule and everything worked out um i didn't know if she was going to be attending the meeting that night because, you know, some people, if, if you schedule a political meeting like a couple weeks after the election or even in December, they're just, they want they want a break from politics. And so I was thinking, well, this person, they probably want a break. I don't know if they're going to be there, but I was praying to God on the drive over to the meeting that, hey, I really hope she's there tonight because I need to get this, ask her out, I need to get off my chest and everything. And, um... But I said, look, Lord, if she's not there, just help give me peace. So guess what? She was at the meeting. I said hi to her. Um, the meeting was about to get started. So I had to wait till the end. <laughs> so we ended the meeting. And then somebody, we dismissed, but then somebody else had a meeting idea for the next meeting. So we all stood up like we were getting ready to go. But we st stood around like another 15 minutes talking with each other, you know, kind of like if you ever watch a game show at the very end, they're standing around talking to each other. That was kind of like what was at this meeting. It was just driving me nuts, okay? But right before this little meeting, after the meeting ended, I, I, I prayed to God. I said silent prayer. I'm like, Lord, please just let me be able to ask her out and do this and, and not get all flustered about it, okay? Okay, so... 
this lady is the first to leave the meeting. So I have to say her, um, hey, Jane. And that's not her name. This is the name I'm going to give her for, you know, and uh, purpose of and, and blah, blah, blah. anonymity, I think you could say. So I say, hey, Jane, I need to ask something real quick. It's like, so we go walk out and she stands. I stand and I keep looking. It's like, is somebody else going to come out here? I need to be quick about this. So I say, um, hey, I, w- I was wondering if if maybe some time next couple weeks or so, you maybe want to, um, yeah, after Thanksgiving, would you like to go out to dinner with me? And, oh, but first, no, for, okay, let me go back a little bit, okay. So I say, hey, Jane, I, I, there's something I need to, I want to ask you. So we walk out the door, okay, and then we stand a little bit to the left of the entrance to the meeting room, okay. We're outside. It's like very cold. Mid-November, it should be only like mid-40s outside at night. It was like low, it was like 31, 32 degrees of freeze. So I knew I had to be quick. But she looked at me right in the eyes, and she said, hey, what's up? You know, she was very calm, and and she acted very happy about it. She was very, like, at peace, and, you know, because some women, they say, oh, what's going on? Ah," You know? No, she was very calm, cool, and collected. And it helped me be calm, cool, and collected, too, when I told her I said, Hey Jane, I was wondering if maybe sometime next couple weeks or so, maybe sometime after Thanksgiving, um, I was wondering if you wanted to have go out to dinner with me. And I look at her in her eyes; she has very pretty eyes. Okay, and she says, um, very happily, I should say, yeah, sure. It smiles and everything at me. Okay, um, I tell her, okay, great. Well, I'll touch base with you a couple weeks or so, and. It's like, okay, yeah, good, because I got, you know, my schedule and everything, I don't know. So, like, okay, yeah, 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 you know. And, um, so I'm inside just now. I'm happy. I'm very ecstatic. Of course, I have to keep it inside because I have to, you know, walk to my car, okay. And then other people are coming out, too, so I got to still be calm and... Um, I see her. She's actually walking back into the meeting room for some reason. She was going to her car, but then I don't know. Maybe I kind of caught her off guard, but still. <sighs> she, anyway, finally I leave the parking lot, and I'm just like, I did it. I'm like, yes, 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 yes. And I'm singing along with my iPod all the way home. I'm so excited. Just, oh, my gosh, I did it. So then what happened was I messaged my mom on facebook told her told my sister told my dad's like guess what i have a date in a couple weeks i asked her out i was so nervous but i did it i was so calm about it it was i was so happy not just i mean not just the fact she said yes but the fact that i because it's been probably like three years since i asked a lady out on a date but i did it and i was so calm cool and collected about the whole thing i was I, I, I felt nervous, you know, but 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 I didn't act nervous. I was, but I think it helps too that ladies, when a guy asks you out, really be you know calm, cool, and collected like this lady did, and just and guys, if she has pretty eyes, well even if she does have pretty eyes, you always make eye contact with her, okay, and you will do great when asking lady out. So. Unfortunately, our story kind of gets rocky after that. <clears throat> so Thanksgiving passes. And then the Sunday after Thanksgiving, I'm home from work. I'm watching football all day. So I message her on Facebook around hmm, like 1 o'clock or so. Um, and the thing about it is the is been, we've been messing, messaging each other probably for like you know a little bit. Well, a couple times for because she had a birthday a few days before Thanksgiving, so I messaged her about that. And usually within an hour, she'll respond back on Facebook. Um, and then 
Also, with the election aftermath, I messaged her back then, too. So, what happened? I was like, okay, it's 1 o'clock. <sighs> okay, I'm thinking she's going to message me back by 2. 2 o'clock comes, nothing. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock. By 9 o'clock, I decided to go take a shower because um, I have to get up work fairly early the next day. So, you know, if I take a shower when I get up in the morning around 6 or 7, there's going to be somebody else probably <laughs> using the shower. So I'm like, I'll take it at night, the path of least resistance. But when I was in the shower about 9 o'clock that night, like, I started thinking the worst. Like, oh my gosh, you know, she got cold feet. You know, she's not going to reply. So I, I tried to be positive, but at the same time, that my gut feeling was that this date was not going to happen. So we go now um, Monday night. Didn't hear from her. By Tuesday night, and by then, I'm like, I'm on Monday, I was like, okay, what happens when a girl says yes to a date and they act like they really want to go on a date and they, you know, um, never, but then they never message you, text you, or call you back, or yeah. So I read it and I was like, okay, the first thing you do is give her a call. So I was like, but this was Monday. I was like, okay. If she doesn't, if you don't hear from her by like Tuesday night around eight or so, give her a call. So I give her a call. Okay, nothing. Um, and then about an hour, I say, okay, I'll be up until about ten. Around nine, nine thirty or so, I text her and I say, hey. Um, but my phone message was, hey, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Um, you know, and everything. How you? How are you? Just want to talk about her date this week and kind of nervous about it. I know you are too just want to you know yeah so I didn't hear from her for a couple hours I decided to text her um, sent her a text and says hey I would what's the word where's my phone <laughs> uh, I text her right and let's see where are we at where are we at where are we at Gotta use the Jeopardy. It says, Hey, Jane, how are you? This is Bobby Crawford. I was thinking Cheesecake Factory or Bonefish Grill for our dinner date. If you're still interested, don't worry, I will pay the bill. True Christian Southern gentleman here. So, that text told her you know i was hoping i could just say hey listen would you like to go out to dinner with me i hope i was hoping that when i asked her out a couple weeks before that she'll be okay well bobby's very serious he likes me you know he wants to go out on a date with me okay he's serious there's his intentions but i was like okay maybe she didn't think i was serious or something so i i called her and then a couple hours later i texted her and like hey you know this is a date and I'm going to pay everything for it. Okay. So, didn't hear from her all Tuesday. Wednesday morning, didn't hear from her. Wednesday afternoon around 4.30, she messaged me back. And, let's see. What's, what is she? <laughs> oh, let's see. Live, live, live. Okay. Do Come on, computer. Come on, internet. Oh. I had a friend just posted. He's in Bozeman, Montana. Okay. Beautiful snow-capped mountain peaks, but sure, we sure we want to live there right now. Okay. 
she says, Hey, sorry about not returning your messages. I have a lot of personal things going on right now that I'm trying to sort out. So I reply, thanks for letting me know, I understand. And of course, I told my mom she rejected me, but she told me this, and I decided to use as a follow-up a couple hours later. I said, one more thing, I like to remain friends and not let things get weird. I think you, you, me, and uh, a couple other people can do a lot of good for this uh, political club we're in. Okay. And after that, I didn't hear from her again, but I, the, the gist of her message was like, it's not you, it's me. I was like, okay, okay, I'll, I accept this. You know, it, 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 it stinks that you lied to me and said you wanted to go on a date and you act all happily. And, you know, but that's kind of that, the let me down easy bull crap, you know. But still, you know, I got ladies, if, if a guy asks you out, what? Be honest with them. If they ask you how and you say yes, boom, you commit to the date. Don't try to weasel your way out of it, okay? But if you're not interested in the guy, just say, look, um, you know, as hard as it might be coming out of your mouth, tell them, you know, I'm I'm not interested. Uh, you're just not the kind of person I would date or, you know, or something else or or even what Jane did now. That's okay. But the biggest problem I have with that, okay, is something that happened just a couple of, a couple of days ago. Um, I decided to remain friends with this person on Facebook. Um, and now I'm kind of sorry that I did. Because I'm trying to get over reje the rejection. I'm, I'm pretty much over, but I'm still kind of curious about them. Uh, they're kind of still like, if if they came to me today and said, would you like to go on a date? I'd probably say yes. I'm still kind of in that. I'm hoping that they will have a change of heart about me. <laughs> you know, I'm still kind of in that phase. But um, they posted on Facebook. Come there, they were saying, oh, shoveling snow is for the birds and. But I like home ownership anyway. It's you know think about the perks of home ownership and get you know motivated. Okay, um, and then one of her like older friends who's like my dad's age says, "Hey, I wish you would else me ask for help," and said, "Oh, I got this." But then she says the bombshell. The thing that just absolutely pissed me off and the purpose of me doing this now 18 minute video is she said thanks I okay but I am in the market for a boyfriend and I'm thinking to myself what the hell lady you know we we have the same political beliefs the same religious beliefs and you just told me that you had a lot of personal things you're trying to work out right now, okay? You had an opportunity to go on a date with me, a paid a meal I would have paid everything for, to a nice place, the Cheesecake Factory or Bonefish Grill, and then, you know, you do that whole, it's not you, it's me crap, but then you go on Facebook, like, <laughs> like barely two weeks later, and now you say I'm in the market for a boyfriend. What the F? It's just, oh my gosh. Now I'm thinking, you know, I really need to send her a message, but not like directly, like sublim subliminally. And I think what I need to do is I need to unfriend her on Facebook. I think that's really what I need to do. And then she has a little fan page she still uses because she ran for political office. I'm just like, oh my gosh, really? Ugh. But what do you think? I don't know how many of you sat through this 19 minute video, but just give me some advice. How how can I cope with this? How can I react to this? I mean, I just wish I could tell her you're in the market for a boyfriend. Well, uh, excuse me. Hey, you know, of course, whatever. She's not interested in me. I don't know why. I don't know why you would not want to date somebody who has the same political views and religious views. I mean, that right there is like 90% of the battle in finding somebody, somebody who has the same religious and political values as you, right? I mean, come on. 
you know I, I, I just I'm totally baffled by that and then, oh jeez and I'm thinking you know I I, I I shouldn't have. I, I looked her up on Facebook. This did not. This post did not come through my feed. I actually typed her name and went to her page, and that's how I found. It. I was like, "Oh, I am in the market for a boyfriend now." I'm like, now the only maybe gleam, the glimmer of hope I have is that another one of her friends, who's an older lady, like probably in her seventies, but I see her at all the local political events around here. She said, I'm I'm gonna keep an eye out for you in regards to I'm in the market of a boyfriend. Well hey, I'll keep an eye out for you. So I'm hoping that this person will maybe What about Bobby, you know? And kind of go to her. I guess that's the only thing. But um you know, to to tell you the truth, I had a plan all along of how to like meet women when I moved to North Carolina. And I'm just going to go back to that original plan. Um, and that was, if somebody comes along and interests me, I'm going to ask them out, pursue them. But if not, I'm going to wait until next summer, and then I'm going to start online dating. So summer 2019, if I'm not dating anybody by then, I'm going to do online dating. Um, and I think... I, I, I need to focus on the good of not having a girlfriend right now, which is like right now I really want to, you know, go to all these political conventions, the county, district, everything, and not have anybody else tying me down in March and April. So that's something definitely look forward to with that. Um, yeah, it's just crazy. I need to look at the good thing and not look at the fact that Two weeks after she said, it's, it, I, I'm, I'm a mess right now. I need to work on myself. She says, I'm in the market for a boyfriend. I'm like, are you nuts? Oh, my gosh. It's like, uh. and, and I'll tell you something about online dating. Um, I'm going to go into it with a better, because I, I did online dating before and was not successful. Um, but... I'll tell you that this time I'm gonna have a completely different attitude than I did when I tried it. Is it f four years ago? Yeah, I was like 28, 29 or something. But let me. Look, the one thing I'll tell you about online dating, and I did Christian mingle actually. Uh, um, big thing I'll tell you. Unfortunately, even on a Christian dating website, look, ladies. Um. You know, you're on Christian Mingle and a guy message you. It's not very Christian not to message them back. It's also not very Christian just to judge them by their outward appearance. But unfortunately, with dating websites, one thing you know is appearance is everything. So in the next few months, I'm going to try to lose some weight. Hopefully, um, that'll help. Um, but also with online dating, like back then, I was on the website way too much. Like I need to limit myself to like maybe a half hour a day, and not like two or three hours a day. And then it's like you work and then you do online dating website. Now you need some other things in your life besides that. Um, but also with online dating, is you know that this is a process. This is going to take time. You cannot expect um, a quick fix. You cannot expect to sign up for eHarmony on Friday, and by Monday morning, you're um, you're married, <laughs> or 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 I should say, you're you even have a date. No, no, yeah, yeah. That's what he says. You all go on. You join eHarmony on Friday night. And by Monday morning, you already have a date for the next weekend. That, that you know, you need to be okay. This is probably, you need to be, you know, thinking that, okay, if I'll be 33 in March, so by the time I do the online dating thing, um, I'll be 33, yeah, 33. Okay, I'm thinking to myself, okay, it might take two or three years to find, you know, a girlfriend. And it might take another two or three years after that. 
to be married. So you think, so, okay, maybe I'll be married by the time I'm 40 and just have that goal, of, you know, it might take six, seven years to get yourself there. But I think at a certain point, though, I just need to put myself out there on the online dating website and just go for it because I, 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 I keep having this frustration. I keep meeting people who, in my day to day life, who they have the same political and religious beliefs as me, but yet they lie to me. Okay, and that I, I just can't face that crap anymore. You know, it's just ugh. But anyway, um, thanks for sticking with me for 26 minutes. If you have any advice for me or anything or anything past experiences, maybe you can help me. Anything, anything about dating or women in general, just just let me know. Okay. Anyway, I am the conservative pelican. Bye bye.